hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to use hangfire in asp.net code so what we have here is a asp.net code web application and we will see how we can implement hangfire so hangfire is basically a third party scheduler using which we can uh, we can create cron jobs or recurring jobs or like we can execute some tasks at specific point of time so it is a uh, third party scheduler now for using hangfire what you have to do is you have to install a nugget package hangfire so you can see the version that we have installed here so it is 1.7.31 so once you done installing the package now we have to go to startup.cs file and here in the configure services method we have to use services.add hangfire now Hangfire requires a uh, database connection because it will create some tables uh, in the database automatically. So we have to provide one connection string. So in the app setting, you can see we have provided one connection string here, and this is the same connection string that is getting used by Hangfire. Okay, so now we have to also add Hangfire server. Okay, so services dot add Hangfire server and uh, then we have to add uh, app dot use hangfire dashboard my dashboard is the url where you will be able to access the hangfire dashboard now how it will work is uh, so here we have created uh, one product controller and one weather forecast controller so uh, you only need the product controller here okay so um, here we have used ijob test service and uh, this is a, a service is used for hangfire so in this service you will see that uh, we have created four methods fire and forget job recurring job delayed job and continuation job so these are four types of jobs that you can uh, uh, create in hangfire now we will also explain like what is the difference between these okay so here it is just accepting the uh, username parameter here and nothing more than that and uh, you can write any kind of code here which you want to fire on specific event so for now we have just written console dot write line so you can change this part uh, as you want okay so because you have created this interface and service you have to uh, add singleton here in the configure services to give it to memory and make it accessible so now coming back to the product controller here here we have uh, created four apis for different type of uh, um, jobs that you can run on hangfire we will just run the application so here you can see it is a delayed job okay now what is a delayed job is whenever this code will fire it will execute uh, the method whatever you want after some time so you have to specify like uh, uh, how much time difference you want to between to execute the method so here you can see it is saying from second 60 so that means that uh, whenever this line will be called it, the uh, delayed job will be executed after one minute of that time so it will schedule the job now how you can see this is uh, okay so first of all i will show you the handfire dashboard so my dashboard we are using because we have specified this uh, in the startup.cs here okay so here we have specified my dashboard so we are opening that so this dashboard is basically about hangfire so this is automatically created by hangfire so you don't have to do anything for this so in the jobs you will go and you will see currently we don't have any schedule jobs or processing job okay uh, five jobs are succeeded but none of them are currently working okay so because we have created the apis in the product controller we have to hit our apis to make the jobs work so i have written the 
API here and I will just uh, because those are like get APIs so I can execute them directly from the URL so when I set the delayed job API then you will see that uh, it has executed the background job and uh, so now if we go to hang fire here you will see that uh, there is one job in the scheduled okay so this is the delayed job that we have just created so it will fire after one minute so you can see the nq here it is it is saying that uh, this job will be fired in a minute okay now you can like uh, refresh after one minute and then you can see that uh, and this will be uh, transferred to succeeded okay so we will just wait for one minute to so you can see it is in a few seconds okay so now we will just keep refreshing so i just want to show you how it works in real time okay so we will just uh, wait some time for it to complete because it is not a long time it is just one minute time before it executes the job so you can see that uh, job is removed from here that means it is executed okay now succeeded uh, count is uh, increased by one and delayed job is now executed so it is succeeded so this is how delayed job works now we can see about the recurring job also so the same way we will also try to see how recurring job works so i have this another url for recurring job you don't have to worry about from where i am getting the url this is just api url so you can create your own apis and you can create tasks inside that background task okay so now we are hitting the recurring job api and here it is setting the recurring job okay and here you can see cron dot minutely so that means that this job will be executed after every minute okay so now i will just continue here and now we will go back to the dashboard again so recurring jobs you will see here in the recurring job section so you can see here it is saying that we have next execution so it will be executed in some seconds okay so now it has executed the um, job and now the next execution is in a minute so basically it will execute in uh, every minute and you can also go to jobs and uh, look at the succeeded count here okay so the recurring job has been executed once so it is coming here now when it will execute again you will see one more entry here and then you will know that it is executing one by one in every single minute so you can wait for some time till it shows that it is uh, uh, getting fired after every minute so recurring job is simply like something that will uh, fire again and again at a specific interval it is uh, like a scheduler so uh, you can use that one for recurring task so here you can see that uh, now recurring job is fired again so we got one more entry a few seconds ago and the last one is a minute ago so that is how recurring jobs work actually so you can like a change as per your requirement now there are two more types here like fire and forget job so it will simply enqueue the job for the execution and there is no specific time like when it will execute it will just uh, wait for other to execute and then it will uh, execute this job so for example we can just hit another url here and now it will enqueue this job and in the dashboard we will see that it has executed at the same time 
now if suppose there are like 100 jobs already waiting for to be fired then this can take some time but since uh, there is no such job working right now so it is executed by uh, at the same time okay so this is just, just a simplest type of job that will be executed so the last type of job is like continuation job so it is like it will fire the first line first and then after completing that it will fire the second line so that is the continuation job okay so we will just hit that url also so we will provide you the code so don't you worry about the code part okay so now we will come here again and so you can see that it has uh, executed the fire and forget job and then it has executed the continuation job so these are different type of jobs that hand fire let us use uh, for the scheduler tasks so now talking about the database part so here you can see that hand fire has created a uh, many tables here now all these tables are automatically created and you don't have to create those manually but uh, this can also provide you details about like uh, how many jobs you have executed or like uh, how many are in the queue so it gives you all the information about that so um, this is all about hang fire and uh, if you have a uh, uh, query about from where you can get the code then we will let you know okay so you can go to codetonight.com this is our official website okay and here if you go below you will see hand fire in esp.net code 3.1 i will provide you a direct link also so don't you worry about that and here you can get all the code that we have left uh, showed in the video and all the steps also mentioned there and you will be able to download the code also so you can check it out okay so thanks for watching guys and if you have any kind of question regarding handfire then you can comment on the video or the article so thanks for watching